Welcome aboard this Halber Rassi 342, built and delivered to her owner in 2017. She is a very nice example, as you would expect, uh, hardly used. She's lying on the south coast of France, where she is looked after locally and well covered when not in use. Um, you can see she has the uh, in-mast furling option with a cross-cut Elfstrom offshore quality sail. There is a double spreader rig, which is by Selden, a silver net anodized rig, um, which is fractional. Coming forward on the 342 is really easy. You step wide side decks leads through the shrouds. There's a grab rail on the coach roof if necessary. A large hatch here serves the forward cabin. As we come on to the wide, uh, quite large fore deck here, you can see there is a electric windlass that also has a remote at the helm. There's an anchor locker. She has the extra bow roller on the port side there. And if you look very closely, you'll be able to see the stainless steel rubbing strakes to the cleats, forward, amidships, and aft. Looking back at the boat, you can see there's hardly a mark on her. Um, these decks are vacuum bagged, so there's no screws to worry about. 10 mil thick at time of build. The windscreen protects and encloses the cockpit. It has an opening centre section and also grab rails on each side. We are a wheel steering boat here. There is a very large traveller, goes the complete width of the cockpit which is excellent for trimming. You can also adjust the backstay here. There is a large cockpit locker on the starboard side, which has a lion's share of your deck storage. There's further storage back here. On the port side is the gas locker. On the starboard side is more storage. Here is where the um, emergency tiller will attach. There is a stainless steel swimming ladder that leads down and steps down to a short platform. Over here, uh, we have the engine controls like all the main sheets and the Genoa sheets, easily accessed from the wheel. There's about 70 engine hours on the engine. Autopilot in the cupboard there. Steering compass right where you want it. And the engine control on the binnacle also. Uh, she has a beautiful hide covered steering wheel. The winches are the larger upgraded um, 44s, 45s sorry. Standard boat comes with 40s, and there are two halyard winches here. Eight rope clutches, and then the I-70 instruments. Also a command mic for the VHF. There is also an E95 Raymarine chart plotter that sits here when you're sailing. Here we are down below on the 342. Um, as you can see, we have a, a pale, very pale Arcantara finish to the upholstery with beautiful blue piping. Um, both of these backrests will come up to reveal wider berths, complete with reading lamp. She has a mahogany finish um, with beautiful Wempy instruments on the bulkheads, intruder alarm, binocular case. Uh, the detail in the lighting is fantastic. Uh, we also have the blinds, ocean air blinds that come down as well. We'll have a quick look at the chart table here. So we have a very simple uh, 12 volt distribution system and there is the master volt battery monitor. VHF radio here. Large forward facing chart table with instrument shelf for additional instruments in the future. Coming forward we've got the Handrails on the ceiling make access very easy. Past the main bulkhead to a large double berth. Under here is where the additional batteries are stowed. You've got storage above. The cupboard on the end houses the motor for the windlass. This is complete, this cabin, with a small vanity station here on the port side. Reading lamps on both sides. Again, you can see the traditional mahogany strips, which you're familiar with from all Haberassis, stop the build-up of condensation on the boat, and a large hanging locker to starboard. Looking back through the saloon, you can see the half bulkheads by the galley and the chart table. They make this space seem very large, larger than it is, while still providing strength for the boat. Three 
very large um, wide uh, companionway steps leading up to the cockpit there grab rails again each side of the of the washboards on the starboard side there is a heads mirror on the back of the door this boat has the optional upgrade of the holding tank she has an electrical flush toilet and the shower is electrically drained 12 volt pump drains overboard there are two opening hatches in here hot and cold mixer tap and plenty of storage a wet locker at the back of the heads for your oilies the aft cabin the owner has opted for the additional um, opening hatch into the cockpit makes it a bit brighter an area in here this is the largest uh, bed on the 342 storage underneath there's a battery charger underneath here the inboard cushion to the left of this picture also comes out and that gives you access to the sail drive another hanging locker just there the galley is very convenient at the bottom of the companionway steps here there's a two burner cooker eno cooker with um, oven lots of stowage an opening uh, top loading refrigerator double sink with stainless steel there's additional work surface comes up like this and there is the um, trademark Havarasi breadboard unused just like the oven the only cookers only ever been used to boil a kettle up on the ceiling of the saloon you can see the detail of the mahogany strips and also the ocean air skylights which are on the forward cabin hatch and the main saloon hatch I just want to show you underneath the companionway steps uh, it's held up by two very strong hydraulic arms there's a automatic fire extinguisher in there as well uh, this she has the D130 uh, Volvo Penta engine with less than 70 hours on it at the time of filming um, you've got excellent access to everything you'd want on this engine here like I said in the aft cabin you can also remove that back panel and you're looking over the cell drive 